All right, the Reds, Liverpool versus Brighton. Watch along. If you're new around here, want to keep up to date on all things Liverpool FC um, fan related, make sure you do hit that subscribe button down below. Put your bell notification on as well so you always do get notified when a video does go live on the channel. There's a lot of short form content. And obviously, follow us on TikTok, YouTube Shorts as well. Obviously, for Facebook as well, which we've got 10,000 amazing reds from around the world as well. So, yeah, keep up to date on all that good stuff. Hope you've all had a good Easter Sunday as well. Um, and you've had a very good weekend. If you've been in work or whatnot, let us know how, how your week's been anyway. Hope it's been good. And hopefully, Liverpool can take all three points this, this afternoon. Obviously, putting the pressure on, we're hoping... Um, the big game in the a bit later. Obviously, after the game, obviously Arsenal playing against Manchester City at the Etihad. It's going to be a difficult game for Arsenal, but if the Gunners want to be winning the league title, they know the job that they need to do, and that's win in Manchester in a couple of hours' time anyway. But forget that. Liverpool got a job to do. We've got 10 cup finals anyway that's the way we've got to look at it we can't really be getting too far ahead of ourselves we know the task in hand and that's obviously obviously of course just ticking each each result off as it does happen as well and uh yeah i'm looking forward to it obviously in the start and 11 for liverpool is as followed as you can see there kelleher bradley kwanza virgil van dijk joe gomez um, Endo, McAllister, obviously Subozlai and Salah Nunes and Diaz leading the line as well. And uh, the good positive thing for Liverpool in terms of is it, we are seeing uh, quite a lot of the main faces come back onto that bench, which is a good positive. Um, we've obviously got Bobby Clark on the bench, Jaden Dans, Harvey Elliott, um, Cody Gakpo, uh, Gravenberch, uh, Canate. Uh, Costa Simicus as well and James McConnell obviously the, we've got a couple of other key injuries but obviously the players that we are still out as we know obviously Alisson, Trent, Bacetic, Jota, Jones, Matip, Robinson and Andy Robbo and Thiago Alcantara as well and for Brighton in terms of their starting 11 started quite strong anyway obviously they've been on such a mad journey in, in Europe, obviously their first European outing for a very long time anyway, as a football club. Um obviously you got they got Verbergen, obviously the big um big signing in the summer, obviously the big Belgium goalkeeper anyway. You got Veltman, Dunk, Van Hickey, uh Lamptey, uh Baleba, obviously Pascal Gross, uh Esther Pignan, who for me prior to his injury this season was one of the best left backs in Europe, in my honest opinion, I think he's been absolutely amazing. Obviously, taking over um, Ben Chilwell, well, well, not Chilwell, who's the other lad that's went uh, Cucurella that did go to Chelsea anyway. Um, obviously, watched him in the World Cup as well, and he, he's a very, very talented left back anyway. Um, Esther Pignan, obviously, Angara, obviously, Modder, and Danny Welbeck as well. Obviously, Brighton, similar with Newcastle this season, have been absolutely decimated by a lot of key injuries. Um, hence is the, the lack of squad depth as well. But it looks like, obviously, Trent's doing a bit a bit of work for Sky Sky News, Sky Sports News at the minute. I'll have a little put my headset on anyway. Yeah, obviously... Carragher did do an interview with him before as well, so just saying he's a bit jealous seeing the lads out training as well. Was the interviewer just asking Trent what it takes to obviously prepare for a game of fussy, really? Chat, what are we saying? Big up there, Matthias. Hope you're well, mate. Afternoon, fella. Massive thank you for putting, obviously, the starting 11 in, mate. Matthias, are you excited for the game? Chat, get your score predictions in as well, anyway. Um, obviously, sorry there, chat. I was just saying what Trent had to say, but just talking about, obviously, the, the, the running in the, in the title, running for all three teams, obviously, the big boys at the top of the table, and, of course, just what the prepar preparations that are, are usually made and, and just going through the, the psychological thinking of a, a professional footballer anyway. Good insights, as always. It's uh, 
you think we we always watch football players obviously on telly and all that but especially the modern era of football that i think a lot it's very rare that you do see quite candid interviews uh, i think you do see a lot of players when they retire very much open up as well but it's always good to listen to, to Trent or any any professional footballer for that matter especially when you can really articulate themselves um, very well as well um, obviously we know the modern day football is very much media trained which is understandable considering <laughs> the news outlets out there that try to bait players um, especially in the newspapers as well anyway um, but get your, your score predictions in chat. Let us know your thoughts on the starting eleven. Obviously, Ebu's on the bench. I think we all would have liked to have seen him start, but I don't think we've got any qualms with obviously Quant starting because we know his qualities. The young lads, anyway. Big up there, Darren. How are we, mate? So we're having a good Easter Sunday as well, chat all of yous. Um, big up there, Phil. Phil's going with three one. Would love that, mate. We'd absolutely bloody love that. Uh, drop a like on the video as well, Reds. Massively helps out, especially when YouTube doesn't bloody push out the videos, as we know. As we know anyway. But I hope you've had a good weekend. Chat as well, all of you. Um, big up the size. Liverpool have won just one of the last seven Premier League meetings with Brighton. Um, it's been almost a bogey team for us. But today is payback as well. Yeah, we spoke about that this week, didn't we, Matthias? Obviously, the... Especially the last four fixtures, obviously, I think Liverpool failed to get a win in the last four against Brighton. Um, they are, mate. That man, Brentford, I think it just goes to show how good Brighton and how good Brentford do set up against Liverpool. I think in previous seasons gone by, they, are, they have been the two teams for me. And I know we've smashed Wolves a couple of times, but Wolves in previous seasons as well have been quite difficult um, in certain elements of their games that we played against them. So, this goes to show the, the quality in the Premier League and goes to show the quality of Brighton. We've spoke about at length over the last 12 months, haven't we? Uh, all of our admiration as a neutral of Brighton in terms of their setup. It's absolutely amazing. I tell you what, if Manchester United could, uh, could have a bit of what Brighton have got going on well in terms of the recruitment, in terms of the infrastructure as well, um, I think they'll bite your hand off Manchester United for even uh, for a bit of the uh, bit of the good running of football operations at Brighton anyway, and of course when you do analyse the the when Chelsea have just been absolutely pinching everyone from Brighton, yeah, that's, uh, it's but the thing is Brighton's model is that successful and it's that good. It doesn't matter who gets taken away from the club; it's just about the deep rooted infrastructure of the club and. The, the, the system works, even if you do take the captain of the ship, the captain will, of course, get replaced, and the the show goes on, to say the least, anyway. Um, big up there, Brian, big up there, so Toe's so going so with a 3-1 win, and uh, Brian, happy Easter, lads, chat with you, have all had lots of chocolate. Um, or if you are celebrating the fe uh, the festive period, I hope you, you've had a very good weekend as well. Um. Matthias, how are we, mate? Uh, Tottenham have a real struggle yesterday against Luton, but got there in the end. Man United, yeah, chat. We loved that, didn't we? But it looked like, and I was fuming. I wasn't doing a watch along anyway, but mega fuming. Um, when they scored that goal, I was like, oh, they've done it again. They've absolutely done it again, Man United. But uh, first time in the whole game, Bright uh, Brentford actually took their time. In the Manchester United penalty area. And lo and behold. They scored a goal. And they equalised. And uh, yeah. It just goes up to show the, the mess that United are in at the minute. It's um yeah. <laughs> no need to stay anymore in any way. But it was fantastic that equaliser. Um, I found it mad that United for what felt like the millionth time this season. Faced 30 shots. I know Brentford couldn't hit a band or machine gun yesterday. Um, because they had like what was it, like four or five shots on target or something stupid, out of thirty shots anyway. Um, but I can't believe we got beat by that side a couple of weeks ago in the FA Cup. It's our own fault anyway. It wasn't a case of United playing well. It was a case of us just absolutely bottling it. And uh, yeah, we'll move on from that results anyway. Um, big up there the red machine. How are we made four one? He's gone with strong side. Is but I said stop the show, mate. Before he's all come in. It's, it is 10 
finals for Liverpool in the league. We know the job in hands, especially in Europe, but I think we all know the, the priority will be obviously the um the the Premier League games first and foremost. Instead, uh, I know it's difficult to you, you can't really get too drawn into things, but yeah, we know the the the, the task in hand really. <coughs> oh, oh, he's there, Chas. Well, don't want to zoom in. There we go. Let's move that down. Where to fix the telly? Oh, no, you don't. I'll sort that. Nice. Chat. I'll be back in a little second. I'm just going to sort the telly downstairs. Uh, chat amongst each other. Hello, Alan. Um, only be two seconds anyway. Um, how are we, Alan? Hope you had a good Easter Sunday, mate. And, uh, yeah, last time I spoke to you, hopefully that thing went well as well, mate. Um, obviously, when you did pop in a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, yeah, chat. Let us know your thoughts on the starting 11. Um, thoughts on the bench as well. Um, I'll be back in a little second. I'm just going to sort the telly. Somehow it's not working. I don't know. It's probably going to be one of them. People people my age, when we just deal with tech, we just switch it on and off. Well, people get paid to do that in certain jobs and get paid lots of money to just switch the plug out, take it out and then put it in and then it works. So it is what it is. Back in a sec. Apologies about that chat. Um Tell you having an absolute meltdown downstairs. Um how are we? Don't you oh you oh yeah, Mark saying don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. How are we, chat? Um Brian, we will we will all talk direct to Zerby. Brian, oh the Zerby. Obviously I don't know if you've been watching the videos this week, Brian, but I I like him. I like him as a manager. You know my thoughts, but I when I spoke to you this season. He He's dealt with a very thin squad at Brighton. I think any manager, even Jurgen Klopp or Pep Guardiola, 
would have struggled um, with the amount of departures. Obviously, especially when you are losing your top players, like to say, say those, like some McAllisters as well, and other top players that Brighton have had over the last couple of seasons. Um, I think if you give him a more capable squad, a bigger squad, I think he would be able to deal with the pressure as well. Um, it's basically an impossible job at the minute with what he's doing with Brighton. Um, yeah, it is bright. But it, it's one of them. I understand where a lot of Liverpool fans have got a lot of concerns with De Zerbi, and quite rightly so, because this season it's not been good enough. But you've got to you've got to look where Brighton have come from. They've come from the lower leagues. Obviously, Graham Potter done a phenomenal job bringing them up the well, into the Premier League as well. He done he steered the ship very well. De Zerbi's took over. Um, and they played very well. They played very well last season. But it is what it is. I think, obviously, Aminen is the main one, I'd say, Bri. As we know, he looks like he's a front runner. And obviously, he come out with coach yesterday. It was the day before. After a side's win, he was grinning. Uh, he was, by Lord, he was grinning quite a fair bit. So clearly, he knew something that we don't know. Obviously, he's got to be respectful to his club as well. And of course, he's got a league title to win. As well, um, um, in the sport on Lisbon, so yeah, one to keep an eye on. I I'll be made up if we do get Ammon and Chas. He's no me this week. I spoke about him. I've not been an avid watcher of sport, and I've seen what like a couple of games this season anyway. But he's uh, very highly regarded by all the, the 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 people that cover him extremely well in terms of the journalism scene and just content creators as well that do lot do that have watched him. Um, but yeah, big up there, bonkers. Um, yeah, the warrior kit is nice, Jack. But I, it's nice, but I think we remember the the dross that played in it, sadly. Um, yeah. Remember, uh, the, the player, one of the players that comes to my mind is uh, a sidey, obviously. Do you remember the, uh, was he Moroccan? The Moroccan winger that we signed from Hedervine. Um, yeah, mad name. But, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a mad one. We've had some mad kits over the years, haven't we? As Matthias has said there, is it the Zerbi's audition for the LFC job? Uh, he got more serious injury problems than we do as well. Could be, Matthias. I think, from what I've heard anyway, um, people within the club that I know, um, they have said that he's highly regarded on the list. He is in contention, um, the Zerbi, but he obviously time will tell over the next couple of months. But they've said that he is very highly regarded. He is probably one of the highest up. In, in, in He's certainly in the top three to get the job at Liverpool anyway. Um, but he will be in the discussions uh, to be Liverpool manager. Um, yeah, so the Demuro Fowler looks insane. Yeah, Matthias, I'll have to go and check it out, mate, anyway. Take a couple of pictures as well, anyway. But yeah, he's he's saying that. Like, I tell you what, that's the one thing about Liverpool as well. Obviously, if you've never been, but in terms of it being a, such a musical city, a football mad city as well. But in terms of like the amazing artists as well, I've got a couple of very good, great artists behind me as well. That do a lot of um, a lot of murals, a lot of artwork as well. It's absolutely amazing. Um, Liverpool as a city is very talented. In a lot of departments, but especially in the football and scene, the the artistic view as well in terms of creating the murals as well, it's absolutely amazing. I tell you, I wish I could paint like that or draw, but nah, I'm absolutely dog water. <laughs> <coughs> oh, dear, dear chat. Bonkers, oh bonkers! You've gone with three 0 to Liverpool. Any win for that matter, chat. Any win will do. 1 0 today will absolutely bloody take it. And as long as we get the three points, it's, it's just. The, the, uh, well, I'll find out what the atmosphere is like, but it, it doesn't need any bigging up the atmosphere. The, the, the lads and ladies and everyone going into the ground today and everyone supporting Liverpool around the world. Will uh, knows the job in hand anyway. But yeah, 
Just saying, chat, don't be surprised if Deserby does get the job. That's all I'm saying. Um, very highly regarded. Um, just all good. Big up there, Scouser. A tricky game, but nothing we weren't prepared for. Uh, we don't mess up here. It's seen it all before. If you want to win the league, you win here. Simple. 100%, 100 million percent spot on, Scouser. 100%. Um, that looks, looks pretty good for Malin. Come on, the pool. Come on, Alan. Who knew Jack was a cable guy? <laughs> yeah. Far from it, lads. I'm absolutely awful with technology sometimes, lads. Just switch it on and off, lads. That's all you have to do. Um, hey, what's the bench? Oh, massive thank you there, Matthias. Obviously, Matthias just saying there, Mark. But, eh, uh, got to start quick, start fast, get a couple of goals, and then bring off a couple of the big key players. Don't do what we've done with Old Trafford, where we're subbing off Salah and all that when we've got big... Uh, and we haven't won the game, 100%. <clears throat> but Connor kind of Bradley, again, chat, and more, I'm excited for him and Nunes. I've missed our Darwin. I think we all have Darwin Nunes. We bloody miss him. <clears throat> But yeah. I uh, know what is Mark. I hope you had a good Easter Easter Sunday, everyone, and uh, you're enjoying it if you are celebrating it as well. Um but yeah, it's gonna be some tests today, chat. Today, the United game away, the Everton game, and obviously the Villa game. I think the Villa game's the hardest one we've got left. This season, chat. Villa away. Obviously, that's second to last game of the season. Like, if we win that game, and if we hopefully win the, the couple of games that we've got here anyway, um, it'll, do us it'll stand on us in good stead, really. And no Hammers Milner on the bench. Bloody yeah, where's he? Is he injured? Obviously, we've got to... A minute silence for Larry Lloyd. We'll see. Larry Lloyd, Liverpool legend, European Cup winner, and obviously league winner at Liverpool. Yeah, that one's a difficult one, Tony. Obviously, thoughts and prayers go to Larry Lloyd's family at this difficult moment. Liverpool legend and a Forest legend as well. Come on there, Beard. How are we, lad? How are we, lad? Yeah. You haven't already done so, chat? I know, and you keep on banging on about it, but you know your score. Drop a like on the video if you haven't done so as well. Massively helps out the stream. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. And just relax and enjoy, hopefully, what will be all three points today. Big trust. Obviously, we'll be covering the Arsenal City game as well later. We are underway. Brighton shooting into the cop. Obviously, Liverpool kicking to the Annie Bowd end in the first half. Big up there, Storm. 
Mongolia, love it, lads. <laughs> you guys have some ah, the uh, some mad comments anyway, especially on your TikTok videos as well. <laughs> but yeah, come on Liverpool. <claps> yeah, big up there, chat. If you want to sync up the video or the audio, obviously that timer on below below me. Anyway, it's uh, it's exactly where I'm up to anyway. So if you want to do that. You can do just pause the YouTube video on your wait, whatever minute you're on. Well, back <laughs> one nil. Bloody hell's dying there, chatterball. Jeez, what a strike! He's absolutely thunderbolts at that. Liverpool being caught asleep here. What a strike! Ex Manchester United striker Danny Welbeck. But exactly what we've said over the last couple of years. Brighton have been causing absolute issues over the last couple of seasons. And Liverpool just so sloppy and relaxed at the back. <clears throat> but yeah, it was sloppy by Salah. Ball down the right-hand channel here. So Lamptey. Ball into the middle there. It's a poor touch by Sir Bosla, who basically plays... Well back in there, that's horrendous, absolutely horrendous from Liverpool. Come on, man! Oh, Liverpool! <clears throat> sod the United, sod the City Arsenal game. We can't win here today, as you've already said, chap. We don't deserve to win the league. Plenty of football still to go here. It is, Phil. But it's exactly what we didn't need. But we remember bloody... Was it Trossard? Was it the year before last? At Anfield getting a hat-trick at Anfield. But I think that's just a reminder for every single one of us. And even the players out there this afternoon. That you've got to work hard here, Reds. Enzo Nunes. Oh, it's not the right pass selection there from Darwin Nunes. Yeah, you could, Matthias. It's not good enough, mate. Like, and it will bite us on the arse this season if we continue conceding the first half, mate. It's all well and good relying on the second half, hoping and, and, and everything. But... Eventually, it will run out. The luck will run out in the second half. Oh, mate, Danny Welbeck. Oh, he just about... He, I thought he'd absolutely sent Virgil van Dijk. He's nearly done him there. How old's Danny Welbeck now? 50. Man's been playing football for a very long time. Fair play to the fella. We did chat. He was... It was a fault for that goal there for you, Chas. Obviously, the whole defensive unit, but for me, so I was like playing in. Very good, very good fullback, Lamptey, as well, Chas. Obviously, I think he had a big injury last year and even this year as well. Just stinted his development a bit. Liverpool now, Salah picking up a bit of a central position here, John, ball to Diaz, flick on, Nunes unlucky, Connor Bradley to Mackie, edge the penalty area now, Liverpool just need to keep on recycling possession, keep on moving it quick, so Bosley, ball in, is that going to be a penalty? Nunes being dragged there, it's getting checked. I tell you what, 
Esther Pinyan? Has he been dragging him? Do I don't think to be enough in that, but oh, I don't think you get given here, chat. It's getting reviewed, but you're not getting nothing, absolutely nothing for that. David Coote in the middle today, chat. Yeah, not given. Esther Pinyan got away with that as well. No, no pen, ch chat. Should have been a pen for me, but it is what it is. Big up there, Wiggs. He has a... a in one immense, oh, yeah. Uh, had a crazy Mother's Day a few weeks ago. Uh, went to see her and my dad uh, collapsed. He was breathing and then suddenly went... Bl oh, what's hell? What the hell, Wiggs? Hopefully you're okay, mate. Where um, he's had a pacemaker, pacemaker fitted, and luckily in there, saved, I saved his life. Such a traumatic thing to go through when you have no experience. Well, bloody hell, Wigs, me, everyone in the channel as well, may thinking of you. Life is too precious, mate, for everyone. So, how made up he's on the mend. And just take it easy, mate, anyway. Where comes secondary, as long as you. Everyone in the family, and especially the owl fella, is okay, mate. Live in the moment, as I say, mate. I say to everyone, live in the moment. Oh, bloody. Hopefully the Reds can pull this round, mate. But, yeah. Well, yeah, big up there, chat. Send your love to the wigs as well in the chat. And Dinger's absolutely sent Bradley here. And Dinger! It's just about evaded. Tidy Clampty. Joe Gomez is just. Apps. Oh, it's a poor ball. McAllister got away with it there. Liverpool. Salah down the right hand side. Now come on, now. Salah! Salah! Mm. Straight at the centre half, Mo. Come on. Go on, Mo. He's still got it. Bradley, McAllister, edge of the penalty area. Go on, how is he? Nunes. <sighs> Got to be careful we don't get hit on the counter-attack here as well, chat. Here it is, Tom, and we started it the worst bloody way, lads. Typical Liverpool chat, isn't it? Just for all those reds. Obviously, anyone just tuning in and you've just missed it. Danny Welbeck. <laughs> Had the freedom of Anfield to absolutely blast it in to the top right corner. It was a very good goal, by the way. Salah! Oh, no! Just felt like an eternity that it was going to be Salah going to whip it in. Oh, it's agonisingly wide there. Yeah, Phil. I thought it would have been a pen, Phil, but you've got David Coote in the middle. We... <coughs> Bloody hell. <coughs> yeah, we're not getting nothing before the die here, Chad. Sorry. <coughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, big up there, Chas, as well. What? Are you mad? Didn't even touch him. Brighton have got a free kick edge of the penalty area. Fuck you. Yeah. And got it. Oh, come on. Are we seriously giving free kicks for that now? Big up there, Gary. Yeah, cheers, Jack. Big up, Wiggs. Uh, I don't know why I was there so early. It was meant to be there looking. Yeah. Everything happens for a reason, Wigs. That's what I believe, anyway. Main thing, lads. Still here. So, any, any arguments anyone has in their life, just wake up in the morning, apologise to whoever it is, and move on, and... Uh, and uh, 
as I said. But she never promised tomorrow. Yeah, what is that? It was, Phil. It was. <clears throat> yeah, Brighton, we've got a free kick here. Got big lads, Brighton. Tell you that now. <clears throat> All the way to a goal kick. <clears throat> Tell you what, Pasco Gross. Was it last season or even this season? He's, he's played so well. One of the most underrated midfielders in the whole of Europe, Pascal Gross. It's just a shame that he's uh, as old as he is. I think he's like 30, isn't he, Pascal Gross? The German midfielder. Surprised he hasn't got a call up to the national side either. <clears throat> Don't lose that there, Joey. How are we, Gary? We do, Gary. Go on. Quonse. Oh, we're getting so much space on the edge of penalty here, here, Chess. Just need to book up our ideas, really. Move it quicker. Quicker. The space is out wide for Liverpool this afternoon. McAllister. Ooh. Come on. Just, just about a couple of yards wide to the top right corner. Yeah, 100% there, Wiggs. Last season, um, I think he had his season this season. Is he, Tom? Yeah, he had quite a fair couple of it. I know a lot of his goals were assists. Pasco Gross, aren't they? Uh, uh, not assists, penalties. <clears throat> Holy chat. <clears throat> oh, great tackle, Macca. Needs a bit of support here, McAllister. I'll tell you what, he's a... Nice, nice can of coke there, Gary. Yeah, of course. Go ahead, son. I have to get one of them myself. Sally! Oh, corner. What a lovely ball down that right-hand side. Come on, Liverpool, get you. Ball's moving so much more quicker here now, which is good. Oh, eh... Uh... Oh, Mark, I haven't got this. Oh, I have to, have to re-download Discord. Well, I was having issues with it. Mark, you might have to resend me a, a, a friend request, Mark. But, yeah. I'll get that sorted later. Last season, I think he had his best season this season. Yeah. Diaz. Ball forward. Bradley. No, don't lose it there, Tom. Get up. Get up. What? He's booked Macca. Are you mad? Oh, have a word, David Coote. Have a... Give your head a massive wobble, lad. It's a 50-50, man. Ah, oh, and if they fouls, mate, football is well and truly in the mud. In the mud with VAR as well, mate, that we had. Football is a contact sport, mate. Free kick for Brighton. Ah, oh, it's a well worked. Free kick here by Brighton. Surprised he didn't give a penalty there, David. Tell you what, Sabonsai's had an absolute shocking start to this game, might not be had. Yeah, it will, Tom. Big up there, Niall. Happy Easter there, uh, Niall. Happy Easter to you, mate, as well. <clears throat> oh, if you want a bit of enjoyment as well this afternoon, chat after our game, go and check out Sheffield United's disallowed fourth goal. 
I still, after about 24 hours, don't know why it was disallowed. <laughs> and that decision will probably send them down as well. <laughs> Obviously, drew the game 3 3 yesterday. The space for Liverpool, as I said before, chat. Why do it is? Just need to keep on moving the ball quicker. McAllister's had an absolute barnstorm and start of this game, chat. Might that be had as well? Picking up where he left off, especially obviously got a goal with Argentina this week as well. I think it was a header. Yeah, it was. Yeah, chat, what were we saying on the first 15 minutes of this game? Not. Foul. Ah, oh, boys. It's all right, me fuming and all you fuming, but the players can't be picking up these needless fouls. Diaz has just absolutely clotheslined the player there. It's absolutely suck him out. <laughs> Win that second ball transition. Lovely Macke. To Sally. Playing McAllister, he's free there. Macke. Sally! Done well. Sally. Back out wide to Nunes. Nunes, left hand side of the penalty area. Now overlapping. Diaz. Give him an option. Thank you. There we go. Diaz. Oh, Diaz has... Oh, has nearly done so well there. Don't foul him. Do not foul him. That's better. Well done. Better. Just keep that pressure on them. Ball over the top to Saleh. Oh, Saleh playing Nunes. What are you doing? He's got Nunes at the back post. You greedy man. Oh, I'm sorry, Mo. He's got to square that. Oh, Nunes. Nunes at the back post, man. You'd back Salah in that position, but come on, Mo. Uh, probably getting a rest, Gary, really. Yeah, he needs it, Gary. Obviously, the amount of minutes Elliot played. Whee! Like, Elliot probably worked so hard as well. Obviously, the injury come back from last year. Just got to utilise him well. Bradley, Salah. Oh. Unlucky there, Mo. Unlucky, lads. Aye, right. but we've got to be thinking with our heads today as well, though, chat. And even in the title running, like, how many times have we watched City where they just squared it across the box? A guaranteed goal. <clears throat> but I made up to see Bradley back today, chat. Ah, that's a red card! Two red cards! He's left his foot in there, David Coote. McAllister's nearly got his ankle snapped. It's a red card. He's just absolutely nearly folded his ankle. Oh, give it an S, Connor. To yellow. It's dangerous. Oh, give it a this, caraman. I love you, lads. You're behind me. Over there. Got it. Come on. I tell you what, that's that I bet I bet our look will be McAllister's gonna be out for the rest of the season. Just watch. Pan up, lad. Yeah, come on, chat. I'll tell you what, McAllister's McCall been our star player today, chat. Has been for the last couple of months. But uh, please be okay, lad. But he, had his, uh, he, he did have his ankle folded in half there. 
Big up there, Jay. Uh, why is Alfred always dead when the team is losing? It makes me uh, not have it as the best team. It's... I think many stadiums for that matter, Jay. Uh, I think I don't think you'll be seeing any home stadium up in arms singing and 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 jubilant, singing with up in jubilation. But uh, all over the top. Mm, unlucky there, Mo. But yeah, I think <clears throat> I don't know what it is, lads. It's if if I had it my way, but it won't. But if I could, I'd love Anfield to be buzzing for ninety five minutes, singing and like being a mad like a European night. But being realistic, I think if you're asking people to sing for ninety six minutes non stop, you're being unreal unrealistic, really. He's offside there, Diaz. Yeah, he's about five yards off. But uh, yeah. Doesn't help when we can see the goal blood. Yeah. The ball. I can't see this Yeah, true. True there, Tom. Looking back on the on the on the interview there. On the interview? On the replay there, chat. It was a... Uh, it wasn't a red. <laughs> Correct decision. By the referee. Yellow card. Yeah, tell I love Endo. Ooh. Come on, Liverpool pick it up now. Miss, miss, miss overhead there by Brighton. Well, yeah, Ando. I just called him Hendo. Endo. Yeah. What a, what a signing, early toe. <laughs> Happy days there, Panov. Happy Easter, mate, as well. Jay, I'd say us, lad. If we don't book up our ideas today, mate, could be getting really difficult. But I think we know we are a different team in the second half. But we've got to be very careful. Very, very careful today. We are 1-0 down. But especially on those transitions, can't be overcommitting. <laughs> be yourself. Oh, yeah. David Cooter, Man City, finally passing on. So I Sky never had me on Sky Sports. I'll just I'll just say that with this David Cooter, Man City fan. In a corner. Well done, Diaz. Getting a corner there. <laughs> true, panel. True, true, true. Halfway through this first half. Come on, Reds. Come on, Virgil. Get your... head on that, son. Come on! Oosh. Ball in. Oh, cleared. Poor ball, that, by Liverpool. Salah, back in now. Whoa. Oh, we're offside. How are we offside from there? <laughs> Can't even hear that's all your eggs, lad. I, I haven't even got a Christmas, uh, a Christmas egg. What the hell? Easter egg. <laughs> As you can tell, chat and everyone, I've had too much chocolate, especially over the year. Can you not tell from me about attentions? <laughs> oh. Come on. I be, yeah. Big up there, Wigs. The only game I've been to Anfield that was rocking the full 95... Was versus City in the UEFA Champions League. Crazy night. Way better atmosphere than Barcelona. I bet wigs. I bloody bet, mate. Yeah, and, and even me, man, I said before, like, it's, I'd love it, but I think you've just got to. Uh, I think we've all got to. Even though Anfield has been voted on numerous occasions, 
the best atmosphere in the Premier League. <clears throat> and of course, when you just listen to legendary managers, even Pep Guardiola, Wenger, Mourinho, <clears throat> Ancelotti as well, all these legendary figures in football talk about Anfield, like the atmosphere and the stadium as well. It's no myth, to say the least, as we know. At the corner. Well done. Lamptey, what are you complaining about, lads? Corner, behave. Come on, we need a better delivery than we've had all day, all day today. He's looking ready, Gary. Nunes should have got a goal chat if you're just tuning in. Salah had a glorious opportunity to slide him in 20 minutes into the game and just sat mode and get his head up. Cleared all the way to Saleh. Yes! Get it, Diaz! One all, go ahead! I think it was Dunk or one of the Bright Brighton centre halves absolutely chopped that ball. It spun backwards, and Diaz was the first there to react. And I don't want to the Bright Brighton players uh, uh, complaining about it anyway, but Lewis Dunk, who had an absolute utter shambles. Of an international break anyway. And the Brighton players are demonstrating. But it doesn't really matter. Liverpool have scored. The reaction from Diaz is absolutely phenomenal. The instinctive nature to very much follow that ball back in. He's on there. D yeah, Diaz is on. Diaz is on. Get in. Get in. Goal given as well. Come on. Yeah, there was three Liverpool players offside, but they didn't interfere with the play, which is the main thing. What a finish, Diaz. That is naughty, mate. Tell you what, the execution on that. I tell you what, on the volley. Such a difficult chance. It's coming down to him there. He's not took his eyes off and he's slotted it bottom left. Top left corner, sorry. But Liverpool back into this game now. Come on, Liverpool. Let's take command of this game now, well and truly. Get in, chat. <laughs> Come on, let's get a quick second goal here. Bradley, getting his head up. Ball in. Oh, not the best of ball there, Bradley. Unlucky, lads. Now Anfield wakes up. Come on. Cheers, lad. Oh, big up there, so... Yeah, is anyone else having any issues with, like, their virgin in the UK? Virgin, uh, Box. Oh, my! What are you doing, Gomez? And God, should have scored for Brighton. Oh, he's offside anyway. But... <laughs> Forget the flag. Yeah, yeah, he's about five yards anyway, but forget about that. Fair play to Gomez. But it was nearly a madness of a ball. Well, it was. Gomez just chesting it across the box and, and Garda was just... just couldn't convert his chance. It was offside, so it doesn't matter anyway, but... Oh, did you mark? Yeah. Yeah, technology, eh? Yeah, can't. Yeah, he wasn't offside there, Mark Miles on. What a ball there by Enzo. Connor. He's off. Well, oh, fair play. Unlucky. <laughs> yeah. 100% dead, so. But uh, sometimes we need that, though, as well, chat. We need to wake ourselves up in games. It's annoying when we're watching it, but. It's the Liverpool way. It always is. Even in the 70s and 80s. When we were at our pump. Sometimes we just make it difficult for ourselves. So we've got 15 minutes left of this first half chat. Let's get try and get that second goal.
Yeah, don't blame me, Panov. Don't blame me. Well back. Stand him up. Oh my. We are getting absolutely destroyed by Danny De by Danny Welbeck and the lads down that left hand channel for Brighton. Sit the side netting anyway, but couple of step overs there. <clears throat> As it Oh Market, stop that lad! Suppose I found Sally! Please, Sally! Oh, what are you doing? Mo What's he doing? He's just passed it back to the goalkeeper. That's a pass back that Mo. McAllister's using this game as a training ground exercise. <clears throat> Like before, oh, he needed to have scored that. McAllister just absolutely destroyed Brighton in the middle. Just absolutely dropped about five players in the middle. Little d typical Argentinian dummy there with his shoulder. Just sent them all. Oh. And dare I say it, chat. There was another pass across for Salah. Conor Diaz! Oh, I'm lucky. <laughs> Sally, I'm not surprised the lads aren't passing to you there, mate. How many the chances you've had today? The, ch the, the pass there was to Sally, but I think fair enough to Bradley. Shot on target for Diaz. I just can't believe what I see in there, chat. It's a pass back by Mo. Pascal Gross. Close them down then. Mr. Pinion. Modder. Indingre. Oh, that's poor by Indingre. That not a foul, Nunes, no. Whatever, cute. <coughs> Needed more. Needed more on that. He's far too relaxed there, Salah, with that chance, wasn't he? Just tuned in, so had a very glorious opportunity there. Just expected him to hit the back of the net. But he had too much time. <clears throat> but yeah, Liverpool got to be extremely careful here down this left. I love Esther Pinyan as a full-back chat. The left winger. Hey, the left back, sorry. That's the Ecuadorian. Oh, well done there, Connor. Get your head up there, son. Connor Bradley. It's Val Nunes. Oh. Oh, McAllister. They've beat the press here, Brighton. Done really well. Endo. <laughs> Love it, Endo. That's what we want. Yeah. Big up there, Cyber. Big up there, Cyber. Oh, Cyber, I was fuming as well, I'm like, watching your game. I was made up with what a, my game it was, but I knew, I called it, mate. I said, I said, when I was watching the game with the lads, I said, I said, watch West Ham, will either draw this game or lose the game? Because they're absolute fraud. That come on, um, Calvin Phillips. And what he done after the game was absolutely horrendous. You don't flip off. Doesn't matter. Those fans support you. And those fans, it used to be a case where the fans paid the wages, but we know big sponsors do. But you don't flip off. No matter, I, as any professional, you get criticism and all that and everything, but come on, man. Like, if you haven't seen it, Jack Calvin Phillips flipped off West Ham fans on the, on, on the way onto his bus, onto the West Ham team bus after the game. But yeah, shocking game from David Moyes there, Cyber. Diaz, 1v1 on the halfway line. He's got Nunes to it. I'll tell you what, Endinga.
You play, John. Red. Oh, what a breakaway there. Diaz just sometimes Diaz does my head in. Like he he runs with his head down half of the time. Like he's just running. Just get your head up, lad. Nunes is there on your left three. Yeah. Like, David Coop played advantage there, but yet then he, he waited half an hour to call it back then. Just come on, man. Do the referees know how to even play advantage in this league? Yeah, good mark. It was, it was yeah. Just David Moyes, though, Cyber. I know your thoughts on, obviously, Moyes over the last couple of years, mate, but I was fuming at Moyes. You're winning three-way. Three-way? Three <laughs> 3-1 away from home anyway. And you need to close that. You need to close that game down. Oh, Bradley! Noon! Oh my God, he's dead scored! Nunes was on his ass. Somehow, he's done a Homer Simpson spin on his ass. And got a shot on target. Well in, Quonset. Yeah, he's left his foot in there, ref. No cards. I want to see this Darwin Nunes effort again. He, he full on done a Homer Simpson <laughs> swivel on his ass. Or is it? It has to be Nunes, or is it going to be an old goal? Right, Nunes is on his ass here. Oh my god, he nearly scored as well. He's. Oh, Bradley. Come on, cameraman, man. Film the game. Come on, Liverpool. Lovely ball there. We do, Wiggs, we do, Chuck. Come on. Next chance we have, Betty Reds. But, Chuck, how does Nunes get a shot away from being on the floor there? <laughs> It's football heritage, Al. This is the Premier League. <laughs> we might have the best teams, the best players as well, but we've got the worst refs in Europe, mate. Oh, my God, what a ball. Please, Sally. Oh, he's done well there, Steel. Uh, no, the, the, the Belgium goalie, sorry. Verbergen. Tell you what, that's a Javi Alonso-esque ball from McAllister. It's a 70-yard pinger over the top. Wasn't even a hip, hit and hope, really. He knew exactly where he wanted that ball. Fate of million in today's market now, chats. Pocket money for the... Uh, for teams in the Prem. It's true there, Phil. I don't even know what to do with me at the minute. Six minutes left in this first half. Come on, Ned. Smash a like on the video as well, everyone, if you haven't already done so. Hit that subscribe button as well. But, uh, yeah, unlucky day, Cyber. Hope you're well, mate. And happy Easter as well to you, matey. And to all you tuning in. If you are celebrating. It's got to be a foul. Salah's just been kicked. There's no meat chat, I call for everything. Penalty! Yeah, we do, Tony. Good thing is he's back out, like, on the pitch now, running, which is a good thing. Obviously, I think Klopp said this week he's, he's a couple of weeks away from being with the first team, but the good positive is he's out running now, which is good. Same with Bichetic as well, so um, he's very close to being on the way back. He's got a week with the under-21s, and then he'll be, hopefully, with the first team very soon. D and O. Oh. oh, he's done well there, Pascal Gross. Brighton and on the counter-attack now. It's poor by Brighton, really. It was a three-on-three, -three, but now Liverpool, thankfully, 
I've got players back. Lamptey over the right hand side now. Come on, Neds. Yeah, he's had to. Diaz always has mad games, lot. Like, obviously, getting the goal today was an instinct, instinctive. Yeah, an instinctive finish, which it was. It would have been interesting to see the XG on that goal as well. Oh, he's done well there, Mo. So oh, he did. And I tell you what, keep an eye on this young lad as well. How old is he? And Ingra. Simon and Ingra. Scored 11 goals for Union St. Grad. Obviously, McAllister's brother's old team. 11 goals, 9 assists last season. And he's got six goals, one assist so far this season. Obviously, the 22 year old. He's from Ivory Coast. Yeah. He's impressed me today. Yeah, 100% there, Storm. Hopefully, we can be taking the lead before he comes on, mate. McAllister. Corner. Three minutes left of normal time in the first half. Probably be about two minutes added on. Won't be too Yeah, sorry there, Wiggs, if I missed that, mate. Ball in. Virgil saying he's getting dragged there. Yeah, he's absolutely terrorising his wigs, isn't he? Down that left. Yeah. Make sure I haven't missed anyone's comments. Yeah, as Matthias said there about ending there. Causing us, in my opinion, we have a remedy for that. Oh, Saleh. Oh, nearly a lovely ball to find, Dom. Has he just got the invisible yellow card? I'll book him, ref. You can't do that. Yeah, two there, my size. <coughs> Is Ferguson on the bench for these? Yeah, Evan Ferguson. I'm surprised. Obviously, the Irish lad. We're getting a goal before that time here, chap, I believe. What what game is David Coop watching? Is he on another planet or what? Yeah, come on, chat. Thing is, second half, chat. We're kicking towards the cup. We've got a lot of the big boys back onto the bench today, which is good. Obviously, chat, you've alluded to, to Elliot coming on potentially as well. Go on, press. Tell you what, Pascal Gross was very nervous there on the edge of his penalty area. That's it. Close him. Don't let them out, man. That's it. Just need a bit of a sloppy pass there. Oh, they've absolutely bypassed our press there. Fair play to Brighton. Very good football there. So the thing is, if we're not all pressing... Then we can get played through quite. I'm I'm just not even gonna mention that referee's name ever again on, on today's show. It's doing me absolute editing. So these refs go. You'd think so, Tony. Four minutes. <clears throat> Bit generous. Yeah, they do, mate, yeah. I think a couple of them got demoted this season. I think it was one or two. But even the championship fans were going, hang on. Don't be putting them into the uh, championship. Supposedly, uh, they're even worse than the championship, by all accounts. Yeah. 
Well done, Connor, lads. But yeah, we will be live for the game later as well, chat. Obviously, the. We'll be doing a post match reaction, little short anyway. Um, Today, obviously. Won't have a lot of time anyway, so keep an eye on the YouTube shorts and Facebook and everything on, on TikTok as well. We'll be releasing a post match reaction show. Let us know your thoughts on that as well. Yeah, we do, Tony. It's obviously cleared instruction, really, in it, mate. Down that left hand channel. Pretty sure if we can, if it stays one all, pretty sure we'll have a chat said, uh, Matthias before a remedy, and we'll we'll identify that at half time and hopefully sort it out. Well, in Diaz, is that not a foul ref? No. Oh, mate. That's it, Endo. Put go through him, lads. I love Endo, man. No nonsense there. He's, he knows. He's just seen the score. But he's like, yeah, two minutes. But like in potential counter-attack, I'll have you. And he's just absolutely gone through. <laughs> yeah. Chat, who would you say was the play of the first half for you? I think we'd have to give it... I'd personally have to give it to... Uh, Lucho Diaz with the goal as well. For a good game. Apart from the shot on his ass, where does Nunes? He's not really getting the ball, Alan, is he? <clears throat> he's um he's he's not getting fed. Like Nunes should have got a goal about twenty minutes into the game if Salah just got his head up and squared it across the box. It was a simple tap in for Nunes. But uh of course you'd back Salah in that position, but Usually Mo would betty them, but... Oh, Joey, lads. Joey, why are you losing the ball there? Well, in Endo again. And now Endo's probably going to be on a yellow card now. Oh, no, it's Diaz, sorry. Is Diaz getting booked now? That's all because of Joe Gomez. Losing stupid possession. You've got a minute left to go at our time. Don't be losing the ball there. I think it was, no, sorry, Diaz, I think it was Gomez. Got a minute left, and we just give Brighton a very good opportunity to whip the ball in here off a free kick. Oh, yeah, Van Dyke's doing what here. Oh, behave well, Beck, you're not, a, you're not the big man. Good luck having a scrap with Virgil. I don't have to fight anyone on this planet once. <laughs> oh, is he having a laugh? <clears throat> the kick here by Brighton. That's a way by Macca. I'll tell you what, that's probably one of the worst refereeing performances I've seen this season. But, eh, uh, one all chat. one all. Um, Liverpool started the game slow, sloppy. But we finished the first half, as we always do. Strong and collective. Salah should have really made it 2-3-1 in that game. Nunes with a little Homer Simpson spin on his ass, Nearly putting the ball in the back of the net. Probably wanted to be in... Would have been the most unique goal we would have seen this season from Darwizzy. Um, but it wasn't the case. But I think we know the quality that Brighton do possess. And we know they've got a couple of injuries as well. But uh, yeah. Um, second half, we know the job that we need to be doing. Um, need to book up our ideas, really. Um, but fully confident, Reds. Especially when you look at the bench as well. Um, you look at Harvey Elliott. Gavin Birch, Gakpo, Canarse coming on as well if needs be. Uh, Costa Simicus as well. And Bobby Clark. So, just quality there. You look at Brighton as well. I would be interested to see Ansu Fati coming on. Um, especially down that left-hand side. They, Brighton have had a lot of joy 
um, with Ndinga and obviously the other lad that's been playing wide for them, Mozza and Welbeck as well. So, as you said, Chas, we need uh, we need to identify those issues down Liverpool's right hand side of the defence. Um, but it's not no cause of Liverpool really. It's just that Brighton have really identified that area of the pitch. And a lot of their triangles have been extremely good. So it's up to Jürgen and the lads to identify that, eradicate that at half-time and, and go out in the second half. But yeah, their ref is disgusting. Big up there, Jen. He is. It's probably one of the worst decisions. Like, especially when a referee is just getting simple advantage so wrong. Like, there was a moment there in that first half where he gives a good five, six seconds advantage to Brighton. They play it, and then they lose the ball. Then he calls it back. It's like, come on, man. That's the basic and fundamentals of a referee. It doesn't matter, like, in the seventh division of English football, even Sunday League as well. Like, come on. Like, you don't even get that. Um, But, yeah, big up there, Storm. Obviously, yeah. Big up there, Jen. Hope you had a good Easter as well, Jen, everyone. Yeah, celebrating Easter, Easter weekend as well. Um, do anyone remember the who did the oh god moments? Was it him, Matthias? Oh, it doesn't surprise me anyway. But Liverpool attacking the cop, second half anyway. And um, we'll chat, we'll be back in a little second. We're gonna get a quick beverage and then we'll discuss obviously what we need to do and go into the second half. If you are new around here, smash a like, smash a subscribe as well. And um, we will have a post match reaction short out as well on the channel. Um, on, and then obviously we will be watching the Manchester City and of course the Arsenal game as well. So I'm looking forward to that. But Liverpool have got to get our job done uh, so far today as well. But uh, a massive, well, big super, big super thanks there by Jen, absolute legend, mate. Hope you're having a fantastic Easter Sunday, mate. And of course, we really appreciate the support, mate, as always. Absolute legend. And uh, yeah, as a uh, let us know your thoughts, everyone, um, on that as well. Happy Easter, obviously, ever the same as well. Obviously, to, to everyone as well. Yeah. <laughs> what's everyone's? Before before I come back, well, get your answers in. What's your favourite Easter egg or what's your favourite chocolate as well? As well, Even if you don't celebrate it, what's your favourite chocolate? So That's the most important question. <laughs> so Liverpool. We'll be back in a little second chat.
Wow, we chat. Go away, Gary. A whisper. Heavy. Heavy chocolate, them lot. Naughty. Let's make sure I haven't missed anyone's. Um, after you said, Jed. But yeah. Yeah. Much love, chat, as well, to Jed. The legends. These are all legends as well. As well. Just even being in the stream as well, that's enough as well, chat. Razor appreciate you all. Absolute legends. Uh, we need to finish our chances. We do. We do, Jen. 100%, mate. Um, we don't have Easter culture over here. So, on Easter, we feast with uh, biryani and tons of meat, like roast chicken, beef, curry, uh, mutton, curry, and so on. Happy days there, Everest. Well, that sounds absolutely lovely, mate. Probably much better than eating chocolate eggs. Um, but yeah, certainly, obviously, yeah. But yeah, I enjoyed that that period as well, Everest, as well, and uh, everyone on the different holidays as well that they do celebrate. But uh, he's, it's that upset. It's not about the eggs; it's about the chocolate. Yeah, as well. Uh, I've had too much chocolate this year. It's not good. I'll probably end up turning into an Easter egg soon enough. Um, Everest, even more dominant second half. Let's crush Brighton, please. Dunk on Dunk's head as well. Yeah, Chad, what's it? What's thoughts on on obviously Dunk? As I said, uh, he's had an absolute awful international break. He got absolutely sent by Lukaku for like the second week on the bounce. Obviously, with Brighton playing, obviously Roma in the Europa League as well. Uh, but he got terrorised by Lukaku. And then he got terrorised at Wembley as well in that 2 all um, England game. Yeah, not too bad. Big up there, Messiah. It's only 1 1, so sure, that's a dominant display. Maybe in possession, but those goals count, you know. 100% there, Messiah. 100% lad. Big up there, Bobby. Oh, Teddy's chocolate orange. That's a, it's a, an acquired taste, that Bobby, isn't it? Lad? Like, I'm not a big fan, but I know the the ma, me ma, she loves that. And I know, I know a lot of people that do like that as well. Thing with the Teddy's chocolate orange, though, as well, it's absolutely massive as well, isn't it? So, what is it? What I've heard was that a couple of years ago. Was it, don't tap it, whack it. And you absolutely add it off. Um. But yeah, it's good sweet that. But yeah, we need to throw the kitchen sink at the, at the game. We do throw the Christmas eggs at them as well, Storm as well. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the second half chat. It's going to be a big 45 minutes in our season, really. We know the importance of the next 45 minutes for, obviously, the um, for the title running anyway. Oh yeah, Mark. <sighs> Don't ask me about our fans football. I think I'd give up anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah. Any changes second half? What's the L Marks having ice cream as well? Happy days, lad. Pan off. My favourite egg is the extraordinary second half. <laughs> that's that's a Doug joke, that. And I think Doug was in the chat. Sorry, Doug. I've just seen... I was obviously downstairs. Did Doug pop in? I think he did. Yeah, big up there. Happy Easter, Doug. Obviously to you and obviously the, the family as well. <laughs> um, sorry about David, but yeah, there we go there, Doug. Obviously, happy Easter to you, mate, as well. Just win, the proposed gen said there. Just win. Any win for that matter, even if it comes off. Dunks ass and like goes into the back of the net. Just win, 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 win. We're not asked about Harry Potter adverts. Get the game on. And I love Harry Potter. I love 
And don't be started on a new series that they're making. Probably gonna absolutely destroy it as well. So <coughs> be interesting to see in the next half an hour who's in the starting eleven. Oh to God. But yeah, Mark, how's your fans football going, mate? Gary, have you got a little flutter on the bet there, lad? 4-1? I think we'll take 2-1, 3-1. One, one. Um, far from it, chat. The only wizard on the pitch today is uh, McAllister. Yeah, but it will be interesting to see that here. Uh, but it's a uh, big up there, Niall. Huge second half. Mahusev. Big up there, Bob. Bobby. Come on, let's go. Big second half here, Reds. Mm. Oh, why are you advertising KFC now? I'm starving. <sighs> Extortionate prices as well for the for the chi for the chicken wrap. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Yeah, just look at it, that goal. Would that have been goal of the season, chat, when Nunes spun on his ass? It's just that he's... You don't know what you're going to ever get. But the ball's bouncing there. Oh. Nearly put that between the goalie's legs. But we are underway for the second half here, Reds. Could you have a quick fire goal here? No changes. Uh, why are we still thinking we're playing United? Uh, big up there, uh, Dichette. Uh, this is a very poor performance. Anthony's goal still has them. <laughs> big up there, lad. Nah, it's uh, Brighton are a good side, mate. We can't be casting aside Brighton's quality because that's being disrespectful towards them. And history over the last couple of years, we've always struggled against Brighton. So, I know certainly me me going into this game, mate, I wasn't thinking 5, 6, 7, 1 or something stupid. It will be a difficult game, regardless of whatever the result is today. But, we're attacking the cop today, Red, so believe second half. Those lads and the crowd and everyone around the world will be giving it our all. We will find a way to win. The way the season has been, we will do. And Brighton will give it their all as well. Got some good food here. Oh, happy days there, lad. Um, well done, Quanse. Big up there, Gary. I don't know. I know. Um, Luke and Ricky, obviously, the eighteen and two Red TV, were saying that there's a couple of a uh, good age uh, ch like chicken places down down south. Because I love me chicken. <coughs> Want some chicken, lad? Oh, no, don't be losing that there, lad. Connor Bradley now. Come on, the Reds. <clears throat> There's only one chicken gaff. Nunes, come on. Modet. Oh, he's just done a Maradona turn there, on not like. Oh, he's done him twice. Done well there. Unlucky, Reds. Here you go. Nice early goal there, chat. I'd love it if we made it four or five in this coming half, second half. Yeah, go to them. Well in, McAllister. He's absolute... What? He's absolutely everywhere there, McAllister. 
tell you what, certainly could be in for a man in a match today if he keeps on playing the way he has done. One of the Brighton players has been booked here. Go ahead, David. Tell him. The Brighton players aren't there to referee the game. Hang on, he's just booked. I think he booked Danny Welbeck. Yeah, stop crowding around the referee. The referee should be just getting his yellow card out and going. Anyone comes near me, you're getting a yellow card, lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's my birthday in three days. Is that weird? Yeah, big up there, panel. Big up there, Maisie. Ooh. <coughs> Shot wide there for Diaz. I remember that pan of three days time, so when's your birthday? On Sunday Wednesday pan of we'll do a live stream on Wednesday as well, miss. How old are you, pan of twenty one? <laughs> Why is Van Dyke I just don't I'll just give up. How's that a yellow card? Are you having a giraffe? He's f As Medino says, if I speak, I'll be in big trouble. Come on, not. never yellow card for Virgil. It's not fair enough if the Brighton player is 20 yards in our half. And he stops the, the counter-attack, but he doesn't. The ball was in Brighton's half anyway. Oh, whatever. Well, in Quiven. <coughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's annoying, Tony. It just shows the lack of control that the referee... Like, referees have got to have a control within the game as well. But as soon as the referee starts dishing out cards left, right and centre, they, they've absolutely knackered it for, for themselves. Because then you've set the precedent, really, to then give out yellow cards for any, any, ta any, any tackle there. Even tackles that aren't even yellow cards. All forward. Van Hecken. Lucky boy there. Tell you why, he certainly just nearly got that ball caught on, under, on, underneath him. <clears throat> it looks like Liverpool have uh, sorted those problems down that right hand side. Now we're five minutes in, but. Come on, Liverpool. How's Veltman done now? Just give away the ball down the right hand side. Smash a like, smash a subscribe as well on the video as well. Let's see how many likes we are on. Uh, we are on two more likes away from 30. Come on, chat. Gomez now. Can he switch that play? Gomez. Back to Wendo now, picking up a bit that bit more a position as a centre half there. Just allowing those Liverpool centre halves to just spread out a bit wide. Try and create that bit of space in the wide channels. Saleh, very good ball out to find Nunes on the left wing now. Darwin Nunes. Nunes. He's got his head up, found Bradley. Bradley! Oh, he's unlucky there. But I thought Conor Bradley would have reversed that to the back post. Nunes. Have a shot, Darwin. Oh, unlucky there, Nunes. Unlucky. Lamptey against Endo. That's going to be one battle, that. Well done, Endo, lads. That is quality. McAllister. Well done, Macca. 
，沙雷 ，John reverse pass， 哦。Still on side there, left play to the whistle. Nunes. Ball in. <coughs> McAllister. Oh! <laughs> Exquisite delivery down that left hand channel. Ball whipped in there. I think it was Joe Gomez. What a ball in. McAllister just, just about a yard or two shy of the bottom right corner of the goal. It would have been an excellent header by McAllister if he got that on target. Well done, Verge. Bradley now marauding down that right hand side. Got a couple of options down that left hand. Nunes. Well done, Nunes. Found Diaz. Diaz, can he stand his centre half up? Diaz, ball to the back post. Sally! Couldn't quite get that shot off. Couldn't quite direct that on, on target there, Sally. Just had a bit too much on the trajectory of that ball to the back post there by Diaz. Ah, oh, it's good defending there, Langara. Langara. Just put a little shove into the back there. Well done. Sally. Sally. No penalty that. No penalty. No penalty for me. On that decision, I can agree with the referee. That was the right decision. Salek just couldn't quite get his feet sorted there. Yeah, never a penalty on that. But yeah, big up there, panel. Oh, yeah, it's a little book, anyway. Oh, happy days there. Well, in part of in have a lovely week, mate. Anyway, all ears and uh, hope he's all spoily covered. Anyway, yeah, through there too. But you never know. You've seen referees absolutely just decimate games, haven't you? With like the needless red cards. Take your time there, Joey. Well done, lad. Just keep hold the ball. Don't do nothing stupid. As soon as I say that, Virgil's just absolutely levered the ball at Endo, I think it was, yeah. Looks like Nunes. I'm liking the interchanging between Nunes and Diaz here. Phone. Right and down the left hand side now. Esther Pinyan. Ball in. Oh, Virgil, you'll have a word, lad, with yourself. Three points to Wigan there by the looks of it. Just... Baleba is just absolutely sent down into Stanley Park there. Oh, yeah. Oh, Phil, we would. I'll be screaming my head off. Where, but um, would have took it, but yeah, this this ref's a joke, chat, isn't it? Probably not spend most of me post match just moaning about it, FA, and it's quite ready, so yeah, it's not been too bad. Storm, we've got options, mate, we've got options. So, both slides on the right. That's poor by Dom, that is so poor. Just play that ball down the right-hand channel there. I think it was Diaz made a very good run down the right-hand side there. Come on, Dom, lads. If you watch Dom, Dom on set pieces for Hungary, he bangs them all in. And corners and everything, he gets assists, goals and everything. Ball in, cleared. And Dingra, I tell you what, what a play this lad is. And that's uh, Joe Gomez will be getting the yellow card. <coughs> tell you what, that ends Dingra. 
keep an eye on that lad, chat. He's going to be uh, I think one of the next stars for Brighton in a couple of seasons. Highly talented player by the looks of it. First time I've actually got a proper look at him. And he's, uh, he's using today as an audition for Liverpool. You never know, but he's a good lad. Go on, Liverpool. Get the ball on the floor. Recycle possession. Yeah, a yellow card for Gomez as well there, chat. So what is it? Van Dijk's on a yellow. Gomez is on a yellow. I think it's a check this. He's on a yellow. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we've got Van Dijk, Gomez and McAllister on a yellow. Welbeck's on a yellow. And Pascal Gross is on a yellow as well. It's a poor ball there. So we've got 32 minutes left in this game, chat. Liverpool for the last 10 minutes of disappointed for me if I'm being honest had a couple of chances but I think Salah needs to step it up if I'm being honest chat second half this is a game where we've seen City over the years in the big games where he's needed Salah step up lad we need you in this in this game today because he's had so many opportunities today Salah and a couple of remember those two chances he had in the first half well done, Tom. There we go, Sally. Get it, lads. Esther Pinion on Brighton are on the counter attack here. And Dingra. I tell you what, he's quick, once it, isn't he? Fair play, once Is that foul? Not gonna be a yellow card, no. No, of course not. It's a Brighton player. Don't give me a yellow card. Sounds. But I tell you what. Yeah. Yeah, McAllister on the yellow as well, chat, yeah. Big half an hour in our season here, Dads. Big half an hour. Oh, get up, Salah, lads. Potential breakaway here, Salah. And Dingra, Pasco Gross on the left. Lamptey. Tell you what, it's like Liverpool at the minute are playing with 10 men. Fair play to Brighton, the way they've uh, grabbed control of the game a bit more now. But Liverpool are getting absolutely outnumbered. It looks like we're a man down here. I think we might need to make a couple of substitutions here and be an honest chat. Well done, Verge. Oh, come on, Nunes. We need a bit of support on this left hand side. Keep hold of the. We can't even. Just be good if we could actually string a couple of passes together here. It's a difficult period so far. The last five minutes for Liverpool. He's released Nunes down the right here, Sally. Nunes down the right hand side. Need to get his head up. Go on, have, just have a shot, Nunes. Needs a bit of support. There's no support here for Darwin Nunes down the right channel. Connor Bradley now. On the underlapping run. McAllister. To Diaz. Picked up a central position here. There's no option down this left-hand channel here at all. Obviously, Diaz coming into that central area. As Anfield gets behind the Reds as well. Got to be patient. Lovely ball by McAllister. Bradley in. What a ball by McAllister. But even a better delivery into the penalty area by Connor Bradley. But there was no one inside the six-yard box to put that ball into the back of the net. So you watch it as we said in the first half. We don't half miss Jota. Desperately miss him. Just has a knack of being there at the right time, doesn't he? Sabozlai. Ooh. It's more like it, Dom. We know Sabozlai can hit one from the edge of the box. First time in what feels like weeks. He's actually had a strike from outside the penalty area there. There we go, lad. Just a whisker wide there. 
We do, Gary, need to move that ball quicker. Yeah, true there, Matthias. You played well here so far, Brighton. As you said there, lads, with all the injuries they've got, Brighton, they've certainly uh, put their two pence in. Well, more than the two pence, 50 quid. Nunes! Darwin Nunes! Oh. Unlucky Darwin. Come on, Liverpool! <laughs> could have got that ball to the back post, but... I think he could have done with a better shout there from Salah, if I'm being honest. Come on, Tom. Down the right hand channel now. McAllister. Salah! Get in! What play! What build up play by Liverpool! Suppose like straight to McAllister. And Maka with an exquisite ball through the middle of that Brighton defence. And Salah, calm and collective. Much better by Mohamed Salah. That's what he's been missing in today's game. But what build-up play by Liverpool. What a goal, man. More like it, Liverpool. Calm, composed. What a ball by McAllister. But I've got to mention to Buzzlai's ball as well. Into McAllister was really good there down the right-hand channel. First time we've seen Sir pick up a bit of space here. All about it. Oh, but look at that. Exquisite goal from Liverpool. It's more like it. Calm, composed. Sally, just relax in the penalty. That's what he does so well. Whilst everything around him is going 100 miles an hour. But Sally, calm as you like. More like it, Mo. Get in there, the Reds. Right. Can we, we need this fair goal here, chat. Need this fair goal. Because we know what Brighton are like. We know what Brighton are like here. They will throw the kitchen sink at it now. Just got to look to hit them on the counter-attack now, Liverpool. Well done, Gomez. Oh, Diaz, that's naughty. That little flick over the, over the top. Diaz, Nunes. Good build-up play by Liverpool there. So, Bosley to find Diaz. Diaz off the left hand flank. He's found Dominic Subozlai. He's done a little dummy. Diaz. Oh, it's a corner. Come on. How good of a footballer is Alexis McAllister, chat? He's... Say what, any manager in world football coming into this team, you've got one of the best central midfielders on planet Earth. Good play by Sabozlai as well. Let's not forget his quality. That he can show. I just want to be seeing a bit more consistency from Sabozlai. He did, Panov. He did. That's what I said before, Chatuyas. We need a motor step up. And he has done. Second half. Sabozlai. Oh. And again, he's got another opportunity to whip the ball back in there. Ball in. Oh, nearly an own goal there. By. Who's it? By Balaba. Bal Balaba. He put that on the back of his net. Must be a scouser. <laughs> but yeah, big, big 23 minutes again here, Jack. Come on. Alexis. Oh, what a player. What a baller. Well. Well.
Why is the ref asked about the fuzzies? Ah, oh, this David Coop, mate. Why is he complaining about balls behind the, the goal? He's probably like, ball in. Like, what is the ref doing? He's become, he's not just a referee, he's the ball boy today as well. Uh, why is he asked about that? Probably because he doesn't want Liverpool to get like a multi-ball system on. And uh, you've probably got people screaming. The the the, uh, the clever heads going, it's a rule in the Premier League. It probably is. But the ref shouldn't be asked about that. Oh, so Buzz Lyle, unlucky there, lads. Well in, John. The Hungarian Henderson. Nah, he's much better than Henderson. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way, as well. <laughs> Sadie Clampty coming off. Very surprised he didn't go to Bayern Munich. A couple of seasons ago, but obviously that injury he did have. Born in Notte as well. He's a very talented player as well that he brought on. The Argentinian. Got a got a got a feeling Darwin Darwin goal is coming. Hopefully Storm. Hopefully. It's between McAllister and Endo for the sign of the season for us. 100 percent there, Phil. Come on, ref, he's all over us. We need this fair goal here, Edge. Come on. Get this fair goal. Put this game to bed. Oh. That's it, Dom. Well done. That's it. Clever, intelligent play there by Sir Buzzley. Just dragging the play Brighton player back there. Not allowing him to have that counter-attacking opportunity. Go on, Nunes. Nunes. Go on, Darwizzi. That's a yellow card. Oh, my God, with a ball. Diaz. Oh, oh, what? What have I just seen from Ahmed Saleh? Oh, it's offside. No. We just witnessed ball of the season. Please be on. What a ball by Saleh. What have I just seen? It's got to be tight. If he's on side, we have just witnessed a sister the season, mate. Is he on? Lad, he's on. Oh, <laughs> he's on side. That should be three one. What a ball! That's on side. Lewis Dunk's ass is playing him on. That's it. Should be three one. Chat if you if you're not watching the game, <coughs> be on. Uh it's on side. Do not take away. Please don't be offside. For me, that's on side. It's on side. Lewis Dunk's ass is playing him on. It's off. N oh. Diaz has been robbed of a blatant goal again by these absolute fraudulent referees in this Premier League, mate. Just what a ball by Salah as well. Lewis Dunk's ass is playing him on, mate. But like when you when we're saying get the ruler out, Tom, we'll just what a ball, chat! What a, what a ball by Sally. Well, in Bradley. Paul Terry on VAR, no surprise. 
absolute gang of Muppets. A lot of them. Oh, Macca, stop that. That's an absolute joke. Well, Ink wants it. <clears throat> Come on, Liverpool, don't let that distract you now. Yeah, happy to he's there, chap. I just can't believe it. Like that ball from Salah chat was was naughty. Absolutely naughty. <sighs> well done, Bradley. Come on, boys. Communicate at the back there. It's going to be a corn to Brighton. When or not, I got in there. Far too easy. Ah, uh, don't put that into the universe, Tom. <laughs> Because you'll just see me appear on the pitch at Anfield, like the Undertaker, a full-time chat. You'll just see me teleport. And I'll have some choice words with uh, David Coote, mate. Counter-attack here. Three on one. It's a three on one. Salah, please, please score. Salah! Three on one. Three on one. Do not be. Do not be what happened with the Man United game. Oh, I'm getting memories back to that United game called weeks ago, chat. Hopefully I'm wrong. Three on one. You need to be scored on that. I'm sorry. Doesn't matter if you got Pele, Maradona, Eusebio, all running on to the end of that. You need to score it, mate. It's a three on one. Fifteen minutes left here. Ake's okay, playing centre half for City today. Fair enough. De Bruyne's playing. <laughs> so David Raya, White Saliba, Gabriel, Kidio, Odegaard, Jorginho, Rice. Saka, Havertz and Gabriel. Jesus. Big up there, Panov. Absolute legend with a super chat there, lad. Uh, the amount of points we've have had stolen from us this season is beyond a joke, Jack. It is, mate. And then you'll have all rival fans going, ah, yeah, it's not just Liverpool that get these decisions. Mate, they'll be up in arms if they got the exact same bloody... And I bet you every... like We had a couple of West Ham fans in here today. The referee in the standard of referee in this league is an absolute joke. We spoke about it this week, mate, as well. I wish I was making it up. I honestly wish I was making it up. But the proof's in the pudding there. It's live television. These decisions are getting made. Elliot coming on. Yeah. For me, chat, I wouldn't change it at the minute. Because we're playing well. The moment we start changing, I'm... Messing about with the players like we did against United. All rhythm, all momentum goes out of it. So I'd be making subs like with five minutes to go. Not with 15 minutes to go here. Diaz. I'll tell you what, what a game Diaz has had today as well. That's a foul. No advantage there. Maybe up there, Panov. 
Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, Stubbs had their greed. Oh, one chat manifest a goal, as I say. Just always remember that Newcastle game where we done a watch along. Whoa. Away from home, ten men down. Won that game two one. Anything is possible. Just believe it. Focus here now, Reds. Come on. It's a bit of space down there on Brighton's right here. Maybe he can switch it. Van Hecken. It's a good ball out there. Veltman. We're in a knot, eh? Yeah, Reds just let him walk past across the whole of our. Pasco Gross, Virgil, win that second ball now. No, Liverpool missing out on the second ball again. Salek, help out here, lad. Oh, well done, well done, John. That's poor by Brighton there. That's very poor by Brighton. They needed that overload. So Bosley over the top here. Nunes. That's very good defending by Lewis Dunk there. Needed to make that because that would have been a 1v1 for Nunes. Well done. <laughs> Go on, David Cute. You're dying to send Virgil off, aren't you, lad? You are dying to send him off. It's all right, he's not going to be getting setting off, but he was thinking about it. He was legit thinking about it, David Coote. He had his whistle in his mouth for a good, like, 20 seconds there. Looking at Virgil. Switch on here, Reds. Come on. Free kick for Brighton now in a dangerous area. Ball in. Away. Second ball! Oh, what a save by Kelleher! World class save. Look like an eternity that ball from Lewis the header from Lewis Dunk. Would he be in an he would have been in an offside position? But now the question is if Brighton score from this goal or this corner, it should have been flagged for offside. Oh my Calais just grabbed it. Come on, Liverpool, get this fair goal, man. Don't have to be a counter attacking goal here. Just on the break. Was Brighton really the last five, ten minutes pushed up the pitch very high. Well done, Diaz. Go on, Lucho. Run at him, lads. Go down the byline. Go down the left. Diaz, have a shot, lads. Oh, corner. Well done, Diaz. He's been absolutely electric today, Lucho. More like it, Lucho. Clear direction. So, Elliot coming on for Nunes. Well done, Darwin. Well done, lad. Very clever substitution here by Jürgen. Very clever. Just getting that extra man in the middle of the pitch here. I'm guessing, unless Harvey's going to go out wide right, or if Elliot's going to be going, probably will be Elliot on the left, and then Diaz central. Or is it going to be a case where Elliot just goes into that little pocket in the middle and just tries to overload the midfield if we can? Brighton of... They've brought on Evan Ferguson. Got to keep an eye on him, the Irish lad. And Adam Lallana. Come on, Adam. Don't oh, don't you dare score, Adam Lallana. So, boss, like, ball in. Elliot! Oh! Oh, Elliot! 
of all the players you wouldn't have expected to get on the end of that. What a leap. Little jack in the box there, Elliot. Oh, I just couldn't quite get that on target there. It's an exquisite flick to the back post. Just needs a little tap in there from someone. Thankfully for Brighton, it didn't fall to a Liverpool man. And even that is a poor decision. That is a poor decision for Brighton. Fair enough, we've actually got a free kick. We move. Dom. Diaz, take your time here, Liverpool, like you did with Salah's goal. Oh. Keep possession. Come on. Malana. <laughs> uh, bit of an interesting sub pan of, but I think in terms of the overall control for the next seven, ten minutes, obviously seven minutes left, but probably will be a couple of fair bit of added time with the VAR decisions. It's a, a clever sub, if I'm being honest, mate. I think with Elliot coming on, just gives you a bit more control in terms of on on possession, really. Big six minutes here, Jack. Come on, hold on. If you need to, just get her up the pitch. Don't be messing about with it. Yeah, it looks like um Looks like Elliot's gone right wing. Salah's gone through the middle. Is it? Just keep all the ball reds. That's all we need to do. No easy match in the Prem, but I question why our possession is lower now than in the first half. But see probably Matthias but I think it just goes to show the how much the flu here oh that is poor by pa that should be too old Pascal Gross had a amazing opportunity to play Evan Ferguson in there and he should have Adam Lalane no well in <laughs> got away with that there Liverpool I'd say Matthias Brighton have played really well second half. Just go show the great performance Liverpool put in today. Cody's coming on by the looks of it. Enzo. Lalana. Oh my God, he's just nearly scored. It's 2-1 still. But that is a whisker away. Adam, lads, don't you dare, mate. Super Lamb Banana, Adam Lallana. Oh, the, if he reversed that, if he reversed that behind him, Ferguson would have been there for the tapping. Need to switch on here. Anfield's doing my head in chat. I get there's a nervousness from us on the watch along as well. But come on, get behind Liverpool. The players need you. I I get everyone's nervousness, but Anfield half of the time creates the nervousness themselves as well. Sell down the left. Just keep all the ball. It's all we need to do, Reds. Keep all possession. Keep it moving across the pitch. Better. So what's like? Sally. Dom. Mm. Shift that to the right. Keep hold of the ball. Well in, Mackey, lads. Absolutely phenomenal work there. Intelligent ball. Elliot. Wide. There we go. Diaz. Run on him, lad. Take him down the byline. Take him down the byline. Well in, Bradley. Oh, he's got away with that bit of luck there. Connor Bradley. Just calm. Wow. I thought that was a corner. I thought that was a corner. Brighton took a quick goal kick. That's it, Endo. You take that yellow card, lads. You take that yellow card. We take those. What a game he's had, chat. What a bloody game.
Who's man in a match for you, chat? Well, indeed, Alf, what a game he's had today. One of the best performances of the season so far for Lucho. Phenomenal game today. Obviously, you get an equaliser in the 27th minute. It's not been an easy result today. We've had to work for it. Jack, get your man in the matches in there. Come on, Cody. Cody's come on now. Ball in. Ooh. There's a counter-attack opportunity here, Sally. Get your head up. Sally, get your head up. Oh, Sally. No, Sally. You need to be playing that down the wing, man. There's an overload down this right-hand side. Gomez is out of position here. Ball into the penalty area. Right, fall on the floor. Do a Pickford, lad. Kelly, why are you taking... Oh, Kelly, lad. This is... Dare I say, it's a bit of an inexperience from Liverpool at the minute. Just slow the game down. We're playing the way Brighton, the speed in which Brighton want us to play. High intensity. Here we go, McAllister, slowing the game down. Elliot. Harvey Elliot. Sally. Oh, what a save. What a save. Brighton have got a player down, but Brighton have got possession. Six minutes added on. How has the keeper saved that? No way he should have been able to save that. That should have been curtains there from Salah. Just slow the game down, Liverpool. Slow it down. As I say, this we're all going like the Red Arrows here, mate. Oh, what are we doing? Keep hold of the ball. Inexperience here, chat. Inexperience. Made up if we win this game, but next six minutes. Slow the game down. Be mature about your play. We're playing so quick. It's ridiculous. Esther Pinion's got a good... Surely he'll be offside there, Lionel, no? Done well there, Dunk. Done very well, Dunk. Have it! There we go, out of touch. Five minutes, we played a minute added on here, chat. A big... The biggest five minutes of the season... Oh, what a save. That is save of the season there, mate. That is save of the season by the Brighton goalkeeper there. It's took a deflection in everything. How has he got that? Absolute joke. The most shots in his Premier League career, Salah, today. 11. Get your heads up there. Play Salah. Oh, it's a poor... Unlike McAllister there. Keep hold of the ball. Keep hold of the ball. Gakpo. Sit, keep hold of the ball. Gomez. What are you doing, Joey, lad? Calm down, man. Tell you what, this game's on a bloody knife edge here. It's all being Liverpool's doing here. I don't get why we're so high here. We are so absolutely high up here. Oh my, what are we doing? I'm sorry, but Jürgen and the technical staff can see here. We've got about five players in our in in Brighton's half. Come back, man. I'm all for the vibes, FC and all that, mate. But come on, do the basic fundamentals in football. Be defensive, be low block, be hard to, to get past. 
Gravenberg's coming on now. Well in, Tom. What a phenomenal performance he's had today as well. Yeah, chat. Easy one, is it? McAllister. I'd say, but big plaudits have to go to Endo as well. Even Lucho. But yeah, certainly McAllister. He's been different in gravy today, hasn't he? Different gravy. Go on. That's it, Gakpo. Pick up that yellow card, son. You pick up that yellow card. Well done, David Coote. Right, two minutes left to go in this game here. Oh, come on. Barco, great name. He can't be doing that, Alan Macy. He can't be doing it, Chaz. He shouldn't be playing with that loose ball there across the box. But... Right, keep holding the ball. Bradley down the right now. Saleh. Oh, well done, Saleh. There's a four on three here for Liverpool. Elliot. It's going to be a corner. Oh, has he kept it? He's kept it in there. Well done. Go on, Mac, and hit that, son. Oh. I've got a minute left here. Come on. I'm all for it, just like the red arrows, mate. But come on. Get back now. Get back in your shape. Come on, the reds. Back out. If, if someone needs to take a red card here, last minute of the game, take it. Take a yellow, take a red. Just stop the Brighton attack. Well, in Connor, lads. Maturity from Elliot there. Maturity from the young lad. Take, take your time. 15 seconds left in this game. Get up. Get up, when and not, eh? Joe. Come on, Coot. I know it's done a pain yet to blow the whistle because you've not stopped Liverpool from getting three points. Blow that whistle, lad. The moneymakers won't be happy. Right, we played 20 seconds over now. Gakpo. Gomez. Are we just playing until Liverpool score? Hey, there we go. Get in. <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal win. Panov, happy Easter to you, that mate. Happy Easter to everyone celebrating as well. What a bloody game that was. Right, chat? I'll be live in 15 minutes again. We'll be watching the Manchester City game as well. But uh, a big result for Liverpool. A big, big, big result for Liverpool. We've done our job. Man in a match. Easy. McAllister. Absolutely controlled the whole game. But, chat... Massive thank you to everyone, massive thank you to Jen, massive thank you to Panov as well for all the super chats and the big support, but a massive thank you to everyone that has been in the watch long today. I'll see you in 15 minutes. If you don't get your notifications, we'll be watching the City Arsenal game as well here on YouTube. But that takes Liverpool top of the table now. Um, obviously four points clear of um, Manchester City as well. But... See them 15 minutes, Reds as well. Got to record a, a post-match video as well in that time. Right. Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you in 15.